Are you getting anywhere? No. Yeah. Got to go to 100%, I think. <laughs> okay. Scoop by Yada. I'll put a warning out on the channel to anyone who's got one to. I'll do it on the. F yeah. The, uh, as a 450 right. owners okay. club. Okay. Yeah. And there's nobody. So oh, there's two Lexus really just can't switch off the charging once it starts. Yeah. Right, I'm not going to film you. I want to just get a film of that and I'll put a message up on the channel. Try and keep everyone out of the picture. Right, we've just got an advisory here. This is a Lexus uh, 450 and obviously this is a Tesla supercharger open to all. And what we have is a situation where um, some of the software issues are starting to show. Um, now, most cars can charge at a Tesla supercharger perfectly well. It's really not a problem. Uh, they, particularly the V4s, where you don't even need an app. You can just come in with a contactless and away they go. Um, but what's just happened on the, on the Lexus is that the Lexus was set to 100% state of charge. Uh, the, they've got the LFP batteries, which means that they like to charge it to 100% every time. Uh, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But what's happened is when you plug into a Tesla supercharger, and I'm thinking it's going to be the same with, with a grid serve, the car will not allow you to turn off the charging. Now, on my car, I'll go and show you this. I'm going to have to do that from the dashboard. Okay, so stop charging. Unlock charge port. Okay, so we are unlocked there. Uh, I guess a charger screen comes up, and one of the options is to stop charging and another option is to unplug, unlock the charger port. So I have the option, whatever state of charge I've set, if I set 100% on my car and I change my mind, I can literally just go onto the screen, press stop charging, and it stops charging. Um, if I then want to unplug it, which obviously I would, I click unlock the charger port and it unlocks. And so I can unplug the charger and drive off. Now, when Lexus plugs in this particular model, the 450, once you've plugged in, it will charge to whatever you've set. And there is no stop button. Now, the Tesla V4s don't have a stop button. Uh, you can't physically stop them. I've rung through to Tesla myself, and they tell me they can't do it remotely. They can't turn it off. It's controlled by the car. So the Lexus at the moment is set to 100%. They don't want 100%, they just want to do a top-up charge here and move on. Uh, but because the car's set to 100% and because um, there's no way of changing it, that car is now stuck on that charger until it gets to 100% and then they're hoping it will unlock and they'll be able to drive away. There's no guarantee, but that's the hope. So any other car, if you're halfway through a charge, you'd be able to open up your app or open up a screen and you would uh, be able to change the state of charge, let's say down to 10%. If I press the charging button, you see what I've got, I've got a button here, open charge port. Uh, if it's plugged in, I'll have two buttons there. One will say oh, um, stop charging and the other one will say unlock charging port. But during the charging session, I can just adjust the uh, state of charge so if I wanted to release it and it wouldn't release I would just drop it below where it is and that would automatically stop the charging session because we'd gone beyond what we've set and at that point it would then stop and I could unlock the charge port so the Toyota uh, sorry well Toyota owns Lexus so the Lexus once you start charging whatever the state of charge is set that's what you have to wait for doesn't matter what you want and we've not yet found a way of actually doing it uh, any other way. Now at this point let me explain. I had met the Lexus owner a few minutes earlier at the Caledonia Park in Gretna Green 
and he recognised me. Uh, he's a regular viewer. He's also a Model S driver. And this Lexus was actually his wife's car. He loved it. Uh, but he was a bit critical of some of the software. Anyway, he was charging at the Tesla Supercharger at Caledonia Park, which is open to all, uh, using the Tesla app. Uh, while I was there, it worked perfectly. He ended the session uh, on the app, unlocked the port, and the session ended. He drove away. For the benefit of the Toyota Owners Club he was in, he said he was going to go down to Todd Hill's Supercharger, another open-to-all Tesla Supercharger uh, just four miles away, to do a quick charge using no membership, no app, contactless only. I was heading there to film anyhow, so we said we'd probably meet up again. And the customer's now, he's posted some messages on the Lexus forum, uh, and uh, I've spoken to Tesla myself, because um, I was charging here and uh, they said they cannot stop the charge it has to come from the car the car is what controls it the charges are dumb they just produce the power um, and it's the car that controls whether it charges and how fast it charges voltage and everything else that's the BMS a battery management system on the car so the car is in control and here they are not able to get the car to stop charging They've stopped it, started, reset it, uh, crashed it, booted it, everything. Uh, they've been on the phone to, te to Lexus and uh, nobody can do it. So uh, it's running about 92% state of charge at the moment. They're in a hurry to get away. They got appointments, but uh, there's nothing anyone can do. So it's not a Tesla problem. This is a Lexus problem. Um, so be aware and check your own car first that once you plug it in it will stay plugged in and charging until it reaches the limit in this case 100 percent well just a final word the lexus strangely reached 98 percent then unlocked while still charging all on its own so a huge relief also warning to other ev drivers check what your ev can and can't do before you actually need to do it this was a very experienced EV owner, but it was in a new EV. Now, obviously, he did try to open the Tesla app, but it reported it couldn't connect as a charging session on that charger was already in progress. Most chargers also no longer have emergency stop buttons, but this is not a Tesla problem or a charger problem. Lexus customer support spent a good 20 minutes on the phone with the customer. I was able to listen in as it was hands-free in the car and they had the door open and all they could offer was to switch the car off and back on again. This did nothing. Then he actually suggested it might be their fault for holding the contactless card at the reader on the charger for too long. Uh, no, it wasn't. It appears to be purely a Lexus software issue, and it is actually quite a serious failing. If the car had been at just 10% state of charge, it would have been stuck there for an awful long time. Now, for future sessions, in this case, these customers will either check the state of charge before plugging in, or use the Tesla app to control the session. I was able to do nothing to help other than to make this video, which might be able to help some other Lexus 450 users avoid the same problem if they want to use Tesla's superchargers open to all. I'm Dave.